Greetings, fellow travelers. Today, I would like to remind you that only you can choose what you entertain in the world that's outside of you. Now, while we experience this reality we call life, we can be confronted in different ways. Sometimes directly, oftentimes indirectly. And when we're confronted with different situations or statements or ideas, the way that these things are presented to us tell a lot about the messenger. Sometimes forms of deception are implemented in the messages that they give us. This can be conscious or unconsciously relayed in the message, meaning the messenger may or may not be aware of the true intent in the delivery. I want to remind you of the power of discernment and understanding not only the message, but the messenger. This is not to say you have to know the entire history of an environment, a culture, a situation, a person. No, it's not about that. It's about having a, a genuine connection with yourself and understanding what bothers your spirit and what doesn't. What causes an internal reaction within you and what doesn't. Now, this plays out many different ways for many people. But the power in being able to discern what you are interacting with or who you're interacting with can give you a certain sense of peace. It also reminds you that you are the guiding force of your reality. You. No one or nothing else. And when you operate in your reality from that place, from that place of inner grace and, and peace, you can see through the communication with the outside world what games are being played. Mm -hmm. Now, some people play games to have a false sense of winning. Some are involved in games and they find a way to be the victim. What I've come to realize for myself is you cannot win or lose a game that you choose not to play. Now this could be applied in any aspect of the world that we experience along our journey. You can have some to play word games with you or, uh, communicate with you in a way, ask you questions in a way that imply things that are not true, things that are not correct. And it's so subtle that any response that you reply with supports the implication that you are in the position or that you are supporting the perceived idea that the messenger has. It's quite interesting. This can be seen in, I mean, pick whatever area of life. Pick whatever area of life. This could be seen in, for example, contracts or contract law. Well, I believe it's called language fraud, where you sign or perform on a contract under the premise or under the assumption, under the idea, under the belief that you are signing the contract for one outcome. However, the person that slid you the contract had their own definition for what those words meant. So although you believed it meant one thing, 
they had a whole nother intent in mind and never clarified it with you. Now that's just contract law. Like I said, you can apply this in the area of your life. This can be communication with loved ones, with strangers, family, friends. Uh, it, it goes across the board. I'm not here to tell you to figure out everything. I don't even recommend that. That's a, that's a first class trigger ticket of craziness. I do want to remind you that the power that you have within to discern what this being implied upon yourself or what is uh, being impressed upon yourself. Discernment gives you the power or reminds you of the power to not engage. That in and of itself can be frustrating for others. That's okay. This sermon is there for you to serve you. It's not for you to conquer anybody. It's not for you to extend or express authority or power over anyone but self. And in trusting in who you inherently are by the grace of whatever God or creator you believe in. We were given the ability to discern. See, this vehicle that we're in, this body that we're in, yes, yeah, it can operate on very primal levels. But the soul that inherits this vessel is, I mean, it's magnificent. So much so that we can choose how the primal ability serve us. This vessel is nothing but a servant to the soul. So when we connect more with that soul, with that internal being that is our true nature, we're able to exercise different abilities or different, different traits that <laughs> may not come as easy to those that believe that the body is the end all be all. It allows us to remove ourselves from the situations in a peaceful manner. It allows ourselves to choose to not even participate in certain beliefs and ideologies that others may hold, even ones that we may have held at one time. Because we understand that by simple participation, we give power and or authority to that thing. And that could be detrimental to the loving life that we choose to live for ourselves. However, that looks for you. So in being able to take our authority back, take our power back, operate from a place that understands that we give power to things, things don't give power to us. We give power to people, institutions. They don't give power to us. When we operate from that place, we not only see how interesting the world is, but we almost, not even almost, we do a 180 and we're able to see the world from the inside out, not from the outside in. When we look from the outside us, and that's where we look at situations that are outside of our race, outside of our culture, outside of our religion, outside of our career, outside of our job, outside of our belief in reality. When we look for the out, at the outside to clarify what lies within, we can not only be confused, but we can get lost so easily. But when we flip that, look at the inside, Think about our choices, our beliefs, what we think about our culture, what we think about our race. Once we understand the choices that we have made for whatever reason, and those things that we hold to be true within us, then we can make sense of the outside world or how we perceive it. That is your power. That is a divine gift from the creator. That is the source of your discernment. 
because you get to see behind the looking glass. You get to understand what's functioning or what's operating within you via your choices. And when you're able to do that, then you can understand your perspective. You can understand if you're looking at the forest or the trees. You can understand if you're taking the perspective that doesn't serve the outcome you desire. You understand if you're participating in the game that no longer serves you or never served you. Because you can see from the inside out. When you can see from the inside out, it's easy to flip it and go from the outside in. But when you go from the outside in, it's difficult to see from the inside out. Because you'll become overwhelmed. You become lost in the sauce, as some would say. So take a moment. Give yourself peace. And if you find yourself in circumstances that bring about frustration, don't fight it. Find out what within you, what choices within you, what beliefs within you are feeding that frustration. And when you find that which lies within, you'll understand, you'll discern it, how to interact or not interact with that that lies without. Full for thought. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.